1950 sewing machine. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Peter Homer. You know Peter Homer? <laughs> I do. Peter Homer invented gloves that are worn by some of our astronauts. Yeah. Like right here at these workbenches, a guy like you invents a better space glove than NASA. So Matthew, the whole purpose of the smart site allows a soldier to fire from a safer position. This is not smoke and mirrors, this is real delivery. And we've reached some really big milestones. It's a big milestone that we're here. Um, we had five brave souls come in and use the device extensively to prove its safety and efficacy. It's a walking robot. Jared hasn't walked in five years. What do you think of that? Awesome. You know, it's a standard stun technology. He comes in with this glove idea. What was your first thought? Well, I was thinking he's a little crazy. He brought this thing to the house. I understood where he was going. Right. Oh. Yeah, OK. That little crisscross of ribbon is the secret sauce that makes my gloves more flexible than the current gloves. Buzz Aldrin, how's that feel? It feels uh, a lot more mobile. Come on down, come on down! We take a picture with the camera that's real time. Over that image, we superimpose a reticle. That's what you use to aim with. You got a dream. Boom goes the house. Yeah, I basically lost my house last year. Your house became this storage locker. Basically, yeah. I fired five of them. You fired five engineers? <laughs> on the same day. I got the cam, too. So this is the shop. Come on in. Oh, man. This is, the sh this is where the magic happens? <laughs> yeah, this is it. I guess I sort of thought that the guy that invented NASA's new space gloves would, uh, would have a slightly cleaner place to work. The materials themselves are very basic and simple. This is something that I, I think ordered off of eBay or, or something like that. eBay. And then when you get through this next fruit down, you're going to spin to the side. No! How cool is that? There's a touch of Michael Jackson about that move. Like, there's guys like you all over the place, right? In places like this that are coming up with big ideas. Dick, do you put a lot of uh, independent inventors from Southwest Harbor, Maine into the suit? First one. Another NASA first. <laughs> 